Shweta. My name is Indra. Ready to start watching. Shwa Vlog International. Welcome to your channel. It's time for Money High Season One Episode Eleven. Let's watch so it. Let's watch it. Raquel, someone's robbed the pharmacy. They took all the records. I don't know how this happened. We were the only ones that knew about it. Only us. You know that moment when you finally realize something's wrong? It hurts. It hurts, doesn't it? You're there with your partner, and you think, you motherfucker. I'm on my way. Or you knew it wasn't him. Raquel was trying to find an explanation for the robbery. But when you can't think of any, there's always someone willing to help. I'm old, but I still believe in good and evil. You're one of the good ones. I bet my life on it. But can you say the exact same thing about your deputy inspector? Because I don't believe I can. Angel thought it couldn't get any worse. But of course it could. It can always get worse. Because when you hit rock bottom, you can still fall further into the abyss. Ciao bella, ciao bella, ciao 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 partita. Come down here, ce ne sento di. What is it, Moscova? We did it! Sunday night had arrived, and the mood was euphoric. We had reached the dirt, and Nairobi had the presses working at full speed. She had surpassed the 400 million euros mark. We had sealed off every entrance with explosives, and we felt like we were inside a bunker. Those were our ten minutes of glory. What the fuck? Need a comb? Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> you know the term my people use for two men making love. They call it combing over. Gume. Gotta go. He's what you thought they'd be to shoot. Can you use the bathroom? Sure, man. Sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for <laughs> Oh, Practice your English. 
Hasito. Hasito, muchacho. Hasito, muchacho. You hear me? Hasito. Hasito. Sure, they killed you or shot you or something. Where have you been? We're in the boiler room right now. Tied up like dogs. They locked us up down there with four cops. They only let us out to go to the bathroom. Listen to me. Listen to me. I have scissors. And I can get you more tools. I can get you hammers or screwdrivers. I don't know. I can have them here in two hours. You gotta watch. Yes. They give an excuse. The reason why you need to come back here in two hours. Two hours. Explosives, M16s, everything. The lives of 67 people are in your hands. Oh, just shut you up. never do anything. Trust me. Trust me. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. In a few hours, this nightmare will be over. All right. Don't worry. Enough! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, I'll be right Yeah, yeah, I'll be right out. Photos that were sent by the kidnappers show explosives connected to solar batteries. They've placed them in every entrance. They've even placed them inside all of the vents. Which explosive? Bomb Squad thinks it's C4. But they looked a bit too orange to me, so we sent them to the lab to get another... Jesus. There's no one else at the lab who can do it except for my ex-husband? I'm sorry, but it's because Alberto's the best. It was a direct order from Commissioner Sanchez. Fine. And what did forensics say? They think it's P4. Very similar to C4 from the UK. It's very difficult to trace. They're making it difficult, huh? Friendly little chat with Allison Parker. Record. Record. It's June Lee, a hostage. This is Anibal Cortez. What do you want? To help you, Anibal. But to do that, we need you to help us get in there. And get the hostages out, without any violence. You understand? You know every entrance has explosives. Yes. Getting in won't be a problem, but... We need an ally. We need you to tell us where everyone is at all times. Got it? Yeah. And why would I betray my friends? They'll tempt you with a better future, with a shorter sentence, like one or two or three years. No. If you help us, you'll get certain privileges. Your sentence will be reduced. Divide and conquer. This slogan Help a little town in Italy take over the entire world. Later it helped Napoleon. And now it helps the national police. They're going to take advantage of any communication in order to tempt one of us. After you've been in there for 48 hours, that's when it'll start. The anguish, the negativity. And that's the moment when they'll try to go for the weakest link on our team. Our weakness doesn't lie within us. It lies in what we have outside. We can turn this around, honey. We still have time. But by the time of contact, we'll have committed six or eight crimes at least. There's no judge who will guarantee your freedom, not one. Once you go in there, the only one who can free you is me. All right. Let's do some math, Inspector. Let's see. Armed robbery. That's two to five years. 
and there's crimes against humanity, kidnapping, and refusing the release of four policemen. Forty years. Forty years. Fighting the alarm, cybercrime, we're talking six to 24 months. And then of course there's public disturbance for the robbery itself of the mint. One to six years. And the hostages make it that much harder. 67 hostages. The penal code states it's six to 10 years for each hostage kidnapped. And let's not forget we shot at the police on the first day. That's six to eight years for each officer. And we also hurt them. That means bodily injuries and a sentence of up to eight years for each one. So we're talking about, well, if we get a hard judge, it'll be 723 years, requested by the district attorney. Look, the penal code is the rules of the game in every country, nobody's above that, nobody. Although there is one thing you can do for me. A presidential pardon. We can ask the president to pardon you. Is that what you want? No. I want you to ask the president to go on TV and say to everyone in Spain that if any of the kidnappers decide to work with the police to end the crisis, he will consider a pardon in exchange for their cooperation. First get the president on the news. He's And then maybe I'll actually consider being a fucking rat. All right, we'll do it. But first, we need you to prove to us that we can trust you. Give me the name of the professor and the number of the robbers inside. Come on, honey. A name and a number. Grab a pen and paper. My fucking ball, 33! Uh, uh, son of a bitch. Shit. What the hell did you do? You ruined our chances of getting more time, that's why. I was following the notes, okay? I heard them whispering, they didn't fucking buy it. Hey, look, who do you think you are, kid? You should do your job, not improvise, or go change the plans, damn it. And the whispering? What's that about? Hey, hey, Rio heard us talking, and if he says he followed the notes, he did, okay? We've been screwing at that fucking inspector for days, so it's not his fault, okay? Got it? That's it. Also, she's not gonna call the president, the media, her mom, or fucking anyone. All right. You know what? Fuck this. Uh-oh. wanted to accept the offer. Stop time. And leave as if nothing had ever happened. Did you consider taking the deal? This isn't gonna end well, mm -hmm. right? Do you have any idea what life without parole is? That's what I'll get. I killed a security guard. And a few months later, I broke in here to steal. And then I shot a cop. No one could tell by looking at you. You think a judge will believe I'm innocent? No. No. Were you thinking of taking it? I was. What will happen if we get out? Will we be together? Or are you going to be sick of me and I'll never see you again? You're talking about betraying your friends. My friends. My friends with city names. Tokyo, Berlin, Moscow, Denver. Well, I think my friends with city names are some of the best I've ever had. And let me tell you something. Make sure you hide if you accept the deal. Because if I find you, I'll put a bullet in your head. Eleven guards and four policemen. They're our only hope. Here. Here. 
No, no, I'm not hungry. Thank you. You sure? Yeah, yeah, thank you. How are they, our only hope, if they're locked up? We have to arm them somehow. Get them some tools, anything to help. What tools are you planning to steal? Drill bits, hammers. Fucking screws, anything. You see the arsenal they got down there, haven't you? We steal what we can and we leave them in the bathroom. Look, Pablo, I, I can't do this alone. Okay? I need your help for this. Just go, man. Here's the situation. When the Slavic gorilla takes me for a walk, I need you to distract him. It's because he's fixing me up. He's looking after me. He helps me walk. So why can't you do it? Huh? And I'll steal the tools and everything we need. Time's up. The printers? The printers? Here. Don't tell anyone about this plan. The fewer people who know about it, the more likely it is to really work. We're gonna make sure everyone gets out, understand? Arturo, be back soon. Come in. And sit down. Who said this? Hi. I asked you here to see what we can do about your student. She escaped, and we found her locked inside of a safe. What do you think the reason for that was? Do you think it has anything to do with her being a virgin? What the fuck are you saying right now? Nairobi. We can see it in many species. The virgins are always rebellious because they haven't run away, they kick, they're completely unpredictable. Have you ever heard of what I'm talking about, Professor? Uh... How old were you when you lost your virginity, Mercedes? Mercedes? It's fine, It's fine, really. Go ahead and tell us, please. We're family. You can trust us. Professor. Professor. Um... Well, um... I'm originally from a small town in Soria. Hmm. I was 24. Hmm. And did you ever notice that virginal rebelliousness? Well, I don't know. Think about it. Maybe... Maybe... Actually... I snuck out to the Medina Theli Festival three times before losing it. I don't know if that's what you're... That's exactly it. Exactly. Festival. And you, Allison? Are you a virgin? Yes. Yes. So what? So what? Your stupid speeches don't scare me at all. And you're not gonna hurt me. Do you wanna know why? Because I'm not just your hostage. I'm your only lifeline. See, you do have it. The virgin rebelliousness, I knew it. Ariadna, would you be a sweetheart and get me that red folder sitting over there? How's that? Sure. Let's see what we have here. You're Aunt Peggy. She's volunteering in Mali. And here we have your cousin, Elsie. We have several photos of your sister Liz. She's right next door. You both go to the same school. I don't think she has the same temperament as you. I'm assuming a young girl of your status doesn't know how much it costs to hire a hitman, right? You can get a decent one for 30,000 euros. Although to take care of your aunt in Africa, just 10,000 euros. That's it, 10,000 euros? The lives of your family are in your hands. Nairobi. Let's go. Come on. Come on. When I told you to take a stand, I guess I should have stressed to you that timing is everything. Inspector, the subsoil unit crew found movement in the seismograph. They're using heavy machinery in there. 
They're definitely digging a tunnel. We need to find that tunnel now. Get that ground penetrating radar going. I'm on it. Listen up, everyone. Anyone who's not essential, you can go home now. Essential means whoever's doing something now. Hmm? The rest of you, go get some sleep. And shower, please. It's starting to stink like police in here. Actually, everyone get out, please. I have to take you off the case, sorry. I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure that uh, it'll get cleared up, but... Right. Huh? What the fuck are you saying? Are you saying? That, I'm not the traitor. that I'm not the traitor. So now, that leaves you. You've got some nerve. They knew we were going into the museum only after you learned about it. They knew about the junkyard at the same time as you. They knew about the fucking pharmacy because you found it. Oh yeah? And it could be something else, huh? What? Say I don't it. know. It could be a phone call. A cell phone. A, a, cell phone, a fucking yeah. microphone. You and I were the only two who knew about the pharmacy. And you didn't tell anyone, right? Right? What about that weirdo from the cafe? Did you tell him? Huh? What? Yeah. He shows up here yesterday, and you pour your heart out to him, and you tell him your whole life story. But you don't suspect him, right? He's been in here, Raquel. He was inside this goddamn tent. Did you check him out? Did you check him out? Because I did. Did you do your fucking job? He owns a store right down the street from here where he supposedly makes cider. And it's all covered up in tarps. Who the fuck knows what he's hiding? Don't tell me you fucking followed him. Yeah, I've been following him. And he doesn't make cider or cookies. All he does is pour fucking apples, chemicals you'd use to cook meth or who the fuck knows what. You can't trust that guy, Raquel. You can't. And you think I'm the one to blame that I'm the suspect? Me? 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 What are they paying you? One million? Two. Two? Uh oh. Look, Raquel. Look, Raquel. Just listen to me. Just listen to me. You can go fuck you yourself. You can go fuck yourself. Oh. Suarez! Suarez! I can't fucking, I can't fucking believe it! Cuff him and get him out of here. Just relax, Inspector. It's not the protocol. Yeah, yeah, it is, Suarez. Cuff me, goddammit. She's crazy, so put the handcuffs on me. And get him the hell out of here. Look, I've been with you for 15 years. With me? No. For 15 years, you try to get into my pants. Talking about fucking Cersei all the time. I'll leave Mari Carmen. Always making passes at me. Now I finally tell you no. And suddenly Loverboy goes off and becomes a traitor. A fucking traitor! You know what you sold? Our friendship. Our friendship. This operation. This Get the fuck out of my face. You know what collateral damage means? It's a term coined by the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War when they didn't have the balls to say they murdered civilians. some bags and pick up all this shit you'll have dinner afterwards I stole some tools and other stuff they had down there like what like screwdrivers great saw blades files look Side of the toilet that without being heard. They're gonna, be there in They're gonna be there in about 40 minutes. For you. I'm covered in all this shit right now. You wanna just give them to me right here? Do your part. 
You do your part, and I'll do my champ. Megan? Megan? Did something happen? Did something happen? Are you okay? Um... Well, I'm, I'm here, by myself at the cafe, and... Uh, and I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you mean. It's just I had plans with someone. My first dinner in eight years with... Uh, with someone other than my family. But I think I've uh, been stood up. Do you think it could just be that you're 36 minutes early? I'm sorry, Selva. It was a bad joke. It was a bad joke. I just, if you didn't show, I don't know. I suppose I'd stay here in, uh, in my high heels all alone and, uh, and drink until they just throw me out. Are you mute to this appointment? <laughs> I die of embarrassment. Well, don't worry. I'll be right there, drinking with you in five minutes. See you soon. See you soon. Months from now, you won't be able to breathe at all. You joke, right? <laughs> Please, you must be Shiva, goddess of fertility. Should I call my wife and tell her to get the kids so we can celebrate together? For God's sake! Rob is just like any married couple with three children. I never said I was leaving. I brought you a great selection, <laughs> a sandwich that I, well, I've had it a couple times and didn't die, so I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> some cookies that, uh, I got some that don't have gluten, because I thought you might be allergic to gluten, like a lot of people, so these are better. And a chocolate pastry, which is my favorite. Oh, and some candy. Want some? Want some? Raquel, it's Angel. Listen, I'm asking, Listen, I'm asking you to reconsider. I understand, I understand it got heated, and I know I crossed, I know the, line. I crossed the line, but... Oh, God damn it, this, damn it, this isn't fight. our first fight, you know? Look, I might be... Look, I might be, I might be, an, asshole I might be an asshole, or whatever else, whatever else but... I'm not but I'm not the mole. I am not the you fucking mole. Mole. You don't know. Yeah. It's not a mistake. You'll ruin my life, Raquel. You'll ruin my entire, ruin life. My entire life with this. Call me. Call me. What do you think about the the morning before robbery? When you wake up, what's what's on your mind? I don't know. Can you get up early? You get up early? Have a smoke. Have a smoke. You talk. You talk? About nothing. About nothing? What are you doing smoking this early in the morning? Come on. You smoke every morning. How you feeling? Good. You? Nothing unusual. Well, you're really brave, you know? I mean, I think, about these I think about these kind of things a lot, and but all the people on death row, or about guys, or about guys like you, you walk into a room guns drawn. Ah, well, it's it not is. that hard. It is. I would know. I'm I would coward. know. I'm a coward. Just look at me. Just look at me. During a robbery, During a robbery you stole a phone. You even asked me, you even asked me to shoot you in the leg, and you, were able to 
and you were able to stand up to Berlin, you also had the guts to pull me in and kiss me. And fuck me. <laughs> you gotta have a lot of balls to sleep with a criminal dressed like Dali. You're like a secret agent secretary, yeah. <laughs> To be honest, the morning before the heist, uh, I, was I was scared out of my mind. This is completely, this is completely insane. What is? All of this, Papa. That guy, he, he looks smart, but he... I don't know, this is all just crazy. No, it's not. He knows what he's doing. I started to doubt every counterfeit, and you're... Amazing at what you do, Papa, but me? I haven't done any good in my life. But this fucking special guy told me they needed me, so here I am. Getting to know the most beautiful girl in this fucking mess. One minute. These are all the tools we managed to steal. Get undressed, tape them to your body, and then go down to the basement. Cut the pipes in the boiler room and anything you can use as a weapon. Dinner is at nine. I'll take as many of us as I can without putting the plant at risk. Just a second. Get out. Well, it's a good thing I showed up. Since you know, I mean, since your date obviously isn't here yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I'd do if you didn't show up. Right. And your date? Do uh, you think you like him or? No. No. Nope. Not now. Not now. Ah, what a shame. <laughs> really. <laughs> well, let's find out if I'll be useful to you at all. I'm sure you are. Good. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> However, I do have to confess. That we're both in danger because if I have another one of these, then I'll probably start singing. <laughs>
whatever has happened mostly like apart from one or two scenarios they had almost planned everything yeah and also those police officers and security guards are getting those tools are they going to attack and how is it gonna pan out and everything i don't know but now i have to see how professor will get out of this will he I get should. caught or uh, and uh, what about angel will they know that the microphone is in the lot of things lot of things to go on i feel bad for angel yeah angel yeah, i also feel bad and also monica and then were uh, they are together uh, i was waiting for that love will she join the heist i guess so Because, Because now she is in love with Den- Denver. And also, will Arthur come to know about this relationship? That's the question. He is mad. He is always, he is always pushing others. He is always pushing others. He is, you know, that thing what we say, always torture to everyone and all. Yeah, he is. He is always pushing stuff. others. He is not doing himself any. Even problem. that guy told, "Why can't you mm-hmm. do it?" But still, he he has to do all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Okay. Let's wait for more. Let's see how the professor gets out of this problem now. Let's wait. So we have to more. wait for it. So guys, keep on suggesting us more videos to like, subscribe, share, comment, click on the bell icon. Bye.